Hey guys, Ocarina Hero here, and today we are going to film the second part of Kame Robotics KT2, Kung Fu Turtle for short, which is launching on Kickstarter next week. I have a little tester bot to try out, I like a beta robot, which I assembled in the last video. I had a few problems assembling it, but that, you know, that was more me than the robot, I think, and um, some of the little issues will all be worked out before production, because this is, as I said, this is just a beta one. Um, but let's get it started up. So I've got it turned on. Um, it will have an app eventually. Um, but that is not quite ready yet. You know, a lot, a lot, a lot of places don't really have tester bots before they start a Kickstarter. So here we go. So I'm just going to connect to the Wi-Fi. There you go. Tap to sign in. So it comes up on your phone as a little Wi-Fi connection, and then you get these menus. So as it's on the floor, just for a minute, we need to do assemble, automatic calibration, which I'm just going to tap, and then it should level itself and get up. So it's doing a few little tests, and then it will be level and ready. That's it. It's level and ready to go. So that is automatic calibration done. So it says, hi, KT2. Um, the gamepad. We've got a little wireless controller which we can connect here. You can connect a little wireless controller, um, but it looks like you can also do it on your phone. Ooh. Don't know what all these buttons do yet. Whoa! That was a flip of some sort. Right, let's try and get it back to level. Aha. No, we still sat down. So let's get it back to go back to the calibration, get it level again. <laughs> right, back off of that. And if I go back to the gamepad, we've got these little bits here. And there it goes. Let's go backwards. Maybe that way. back here a minute. How do we get you back to level? Ah! That box out of the way, there it goes, on its way. Bring it back this way. Turn him around quick. Ooh. I'm knocking the whole camera over. Right, let's bring it back. Here we go. <laughs> right, that's a little remote control. There's a bit for programming it. So you can run, I don't know which way up that wants to be. Different um, commands to run your own little programs. Uh, level indicator. Rotate the bot's body and its legs will always keep horizontal. Rotate the dog's body and its legs will always keep horizontal. So it's going to be flat and apparently if we... That's clever. So the legs, a bit tricky to show you on camera. Okay, and it's gone back to level, so we cancel that. Go back. We have alarm clock. That's clever. Let's set a 15 second. See what it does in 15 seconds. It's quite a lot you could set. Looks like up to, you can set anything up to 60 minutes. Well, look, a couple of seconds left. Let's see what it does. <laughs> I 
Okay. After the countdown ends, you can pick up the dog and lay it flat to cancel the alarm reminder. Okay. Go back off of that. We have automatic return. The robot will walk back automatically after you push it out. What does that involve? Lift the robot dog's hind legs and its legs will be flattened. Then place it flat on the table. Wait for the robot dog to make a prompt sound and then push it out. When the sliding is over, the dog will walk back automatically. Okay, I'm not sure I understand exactly what that means. Start. So are we lifting that leg or that leg? Okay, slide it out the way and then it says put it down. Mm, not sure I understand that one. <laughs> like I said, a lot of these are really early. It's a it's, it's a beta robot, so it's a test. So it'll all be a lot more refined when the finished product is done. We just, you know, we're just sort of trying them out to work out any problems. Bounce. What does that do? Lift the robot dog's hind legs to a certain height and then let go. The right lifting height and release will make the dog bounce back and forth automatically. Okay, so what does that involve? Is that your hind legs? Ooh. Oh, it's rocking, I see. So if you just lift it a little bit. So it's rocking back and forth. <laughs> okay. Um, what else do we have on here? Never give up. Randomly turn the robot dog over and it will always stand up again. Randomly turn the robot dog over and it will always stand up again. So in theory, if we put it back on the on its other side, oh, very clever, back again. So it doesn't really matter whether this runs upside down or the right way up because it will, it will work both ways. There you go, that one's pretty straightforward, works well. Game. What do we have? Inverted hook. The robot dog will tighten its legs and grab your hand to prevent it from falling. Place the robot dog flat on your hand and turn your palm over. The robot dog will tighten its legs and grab on to prevent... Okay, that's interesting. So, place it flat. I don't know if I understand that one. Place the robot dog flat on your hand and turn your palm over. Okay. Hmm. Not sure I understand that one. I guess it's supposed to sort of grip on. I'm not sure that worked. We've only got two, two little grippers on the feet, which again, little production issue. I'm sure that will be sorted out in the final product and everyone will receive four little rubber feet. No, I don't think I understand that one. Try it one last time and see. Try to start. Yeah, I don't understand that one. But again, like I said this is a beta one, so fairly normal. Not to be, it's not fully functional yet, and it will be improved slightly before the final production. Up, down, shake the robot dog up and down and its legs will swing along. Shake the dog up and down, its legs will swing along. The larger the shaking range, the greater the amplitude of the swing. There you go. It's quite tricky to see on camera without me sort of taking it out, but the legs are essentially. Let's see if I can do it right.
Okay, that's quite clever. And works quite well. Back on its feet. So what do we have? Um, energy storage. Shaking the robot dog will inject energy into it and its legs will rise accordingly. If you stop shaking, the robot's dog energy will slowly be consumed and its legs will fall accordingly. Okay, shaking the robot dog. Oh, I see the legs. So if you look, the legs are slowly, as I'm shaking it, the legs are going up and up and up. And then when you stop, they drop back down. So I guess it would, if you shake it enough, you'd almost get them flat either side like we have. And then they go back down. Oh, yeah, that's quite a straightforward little game. Um, direct indicator. The robot dog's front legs will always indicate the selected direction. Turn the robot dog back, turn the robot dog's back upwards. Select a direction, then turn it sideways, left or right, and the robot dog's front legs will always indicate the selected direction. If you want to reselect a direction, just turn the dog back upwards. Okay. Turn the robot dog's back upwards and let it select a direction. Not sure I understand that one. Don't think I, I'm not sure I understand that one. But again, there's some of the things, some of the things you can do. There'll be lots more when it's finally finished. Program. See, this is again, this is um, like coding, tools, level indicator, some of the games that we've tried. You get it to say hi, which is a little beep, I think. Bit of fun. Program. See, that's the, the coding thing. Python, it looks like it'll be Python compatible, which um, is a lot of people will understand what that is. Calibration, that's the automatic leveling. There you go, it'll do its little bit. <laughs> Settings, looks like you can connect it, you can give it, you give it a name, you can connect it to your Wi-Fi. Of course, that'll be for system updates, I would imagine, yeah, upgrades. Actions, what are actions? Basic movements, move forward, move backward. So we, that's basically what we've got on the control, isn't it? Uh, type. There you go, so there's a few things. I'd quite like to see it do a flip. I don't know if we can make it do that or not. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. That was cool. So just keep doing that, I guess. If um, if you wanted, we could have it do a couple of them with that. There you go. Bit of fun. So that is. That is the KT2 Kung Fu Turtle from Kame Robotics. And that is launching on Kickstarter next week. I will have a link in the description at some point. And if you're interested, go and check it out. It's a fun little thing. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah, bit of fun. Right, I will see you next time.